out three screaming kids. Especially the youngest one is awful. I mean, horrible. A total disaster. I honestly think this album is going. Stetson, a guitar and cowboy boots might just clinch it. Rich Hall sets out to be countryer than you. Found here on BBC Four, Yolanda Brown and Josie Darby lead an outstanding lineup for the final of BBC Young Jazz Musician 2018. Five of the UK's most promising young jazz musicians take to the stage at London's Queen Elizabeth Hall. And it's just the third time that this competition has been held and it's already a much anticipated event in the jazz calendar. Welcome to the final of BBC Young Jazz Musician 2018. we've been celebrating 40 years of BBC Young Musicians. And in July, many former winners of the classical competition were joined on stage at the Royal Albert Hall by the first two winners of the Jazz Award in a special concert for the BBC Proms. Well, since winning, saxophonist Alexander Bohm and trumpet player Alexandra Ridout have continued to build their reputations on the jazz circuit. And tonight, another exceptional musician will add to what is already an elite list of winners. Competing in this final, from Gloucestershire, 22-year-old bassist James Oston. I've never been in the South Bank Centre, so this will be a great first time. I still can't quite believe it. I'm a bit overwhelmed. It's just been a great experience. 18-year-old pianist Ruben Goldmark from Peterborough. It's, yeah, it's a bit surreal, kind of watching it on TV two years ago and sort of now, can't really imagine, imagine doing it. It's like a separate world, but yeah, it's just a, it's a great honour, really. Saxophonist Zosa Cole is 22 from Birmingham. It's going to be incredible getting to that stage. I must admit, quite fortunate to have lots of venues in Birmingham that I'm able to play in, but to have a crack at the London scene is pretty, pretty impressive. And to be able to do it at this, you know, for this momentous occasion is pretty, yeah, overwhelming. Seth Tackerberry, a 20-year-old bassist from London. I'm really looking forward to hearing what everyone else is going to play, actually. I, um, I, I know a couple of these people already, and, and so as, as, as well as playing with Gwillem, it's nice to be seeing other people who are like my kind of age, who I also look up to, um, and hearing how they play, and everyone's got their own kind of individual voice. I really, I think that's really like a special thing about this competition. And from Glasgow, 21 year old pianist Fergus McCready. I'm hoping that my own personality comes through in the music. That's what's most important to me. So if the judges walked away from the final getting a sense they really knew who Fergus McCready was from those 16 minutes, I'd be I'd be really happy with them. And that's our lineup. A very warm welcome to the Queen Elizabeth Hall here at London's South Bank Centre for the final of BBC Young Jazz Musician 2018. I'm Josie Darby and I'm delighted to be hosting this very special occasion together with the truly sensational saxophonist, composer and broadcaster, Yolanda Brown. Oh, you're too <laughs> kind. Oh. Now, I've been following this competition 
since its launch back in 2014. And I know that we can look forward to some fantastic jazz this evening. Five exciting young performers have secured their place in this final, and I can't wait to hear them play. Yes, I think we're all very excited about tonight. And this year, the final is being held for the first time at the EFG London Jazz Festival 2018, events supported by the Associated Board of Royal Schools of Music. Yolanda, you know what it's like to perform at this festival. How big of a deal is it for our young finalists? It's a massive deal. I can imagine that, you know, during their studies, they've come to the festival, really taken in the amazing top-end performers that we have at London Jazz Festival every year and then to be gracing the stage playing with these amazing bands their hearts must be fluttering just a little <laughs> bit but I know deep down they are super proud of themselves it's an amazing opportunity and they all deserve it well I know they've all got plenty of support here in the hall They'll have plenty of support on the stage too, accompanying them in the final, an incredible band who've come together especially for this occasion. Bassist Paula Gardner, drummer Asaf Serkis, and led by Gwilym Simcock on piano. Yeah. Now, as well as performing with some world-class musicians, tonight's finalists will be judged by the best in the business. It's time to introduce our jury. Co-founder and artistic director of Tomorrow's Warriors, bassist Gary Crosby. One of the leading lights of contemporary jazz, pianist Zoe Rahman. Acclaimed saxophonist, composer and teacher, Ian Bellamy one of the UK's new generation of jazz singers, Zara McFarlane. And legendary pianist and band leader, Monty Alexander. Now, Monty, it is so great to have you with us here in the final. What are you looking for in the young jazz performers tonight? I'm looking for people to play with inspiration, and a sense of they know what they're doing. <laughs> I hope they do. They've been rehearsing really, really hard. Zara, this obviously is a really big occasion for our young jazz musicians. What should they be thinking about as they're waiting backstage, ready to grace this stage? I think they should take some time to prepare themselves, breathe, and kind of think about what they want to convey to the audience. And I really love stories being shown through their performances or through performances, so I'd like to see that come out. I hope they're listening. Thank you both, and I'll be back to talk to you a bit later. Back to Josie. So, let's get started and meet the first of tonight's finalists. He's from Gloucestershire. He's 22 years old. It's James Oston. James started playing the bass guitar when he was 15, switching to the double bass just over three years ago when he began a jazz degree course at the Royal Birmingham Conservatoire. When I got here and started studying double bass, I realised that's really what I want to do with my life. I'm in my fourth year at the Royal Birmingham Conservatoire now. Why don't you pick up those rhythmic patterns as well? Da, da, da. Yeah. This year we have a lot more freedom. It's like more of a year to ourselves. so I play a lot. And I'm spending a lot of my time gigging outside of college. On the course, James has had the opportunity to work with a number of leading musicians and recently took part in a masterclass with legendary American tenor saxophonist Jerry Bergonzi. I'm really excited to be playing in this masterclass today because Jerry Bergonzi is one of the best sax players in the world at the moment. There's so many amazing musicians that are part of the lineage of jazz and being part of this institution, a lot of them just come to our doorstep and we get to sit and listen to them play and talk. It's priceless. Sometimes I'll play with the rhythm section and it's not exactly easy work. And then other people, it's, it's totally easy. You know, this was easy. So someday, yeah. Just start playing, see what happens. For the past couple of days, James has been working with Gwilym Simcock and the band to prepare for his appearance in the final. James, you've just played with Gwilym and Asaf. What was it like sort of slotting into that partnership and, and creating a trio? Obviously strange, because I felt like I was the one 
coming in, and I obviously hadn't been playing with either of them for years. So it was today was really good because it was getting a getting my head around how they play and how I can put my playing to link in with theirs. What do you hope that the judges will see of you as a musician? I hope they see the way I collaborate with other musicians. I'm more worried about putting on a good show and playing good music than winning this competition, so hopefully they enjoy my performance.
Thurston, the first to perform in this final of the BBC Young Jazz Musician 2018. Now, Ian, performing first in a competition like this, it's not easy, it's never easy. How do you think James dealt with it? Amazing, really like so solid and so convincing and so in tune, so unshakable. And yeah. Gary, mm -hmm. you are our bass man in the house tonight. Now, how difficult is it to command centre stage with a double bass? It, it is very difficult, but J James is very talented. He has a great future. It's not easy to do it from the bass. No. Fantastic. He, well, he thank you both well. very much. We'll speak to you again later. Congratulations, James. A great start to this final. Up next, it's our youngest performer, 18-year-old pianist Ruben Goldmark. After completing sixth form at Cheatham School of Music in Manchester, Reuben moved to London in September and is now a first-year student at the Royal Academy of Music. But he wasn't joking on trumpet. What was he doing? Scatting. Scatting. I studied at Cheatham's for seven years, uh, and I was mostly doing classical music there. But uh, on the side, I started doing a bit of jazz piano in improv classes, and um, my love for it grew, and I found it to be uh, much more liberating than the um, classical music I was playing, so I decided to, to switch to do jazz full-time. I find that in jazz I can be much more creative. I can play not only other people's music, but also my own music. And it's, I think it's a much more personal way of expressing yourself. So the rhythm's like... He's immediately strikes me as somebody with their own voice and somebody who's very expressive as a player and as a composer. He's had a very broad musical education so far already and it comes through in everything he does. Since switching to jazz, Ruben has discovered a passion for writing his own music. You can really play to your strengths when you write your own tunes and it's kind of you, you're your own boss, you don't have to answer to anyone's sort of perspective on the tune because you're the composer. In this final, Ruben is going to play a program made up entirely of his own music. A few days before the final, Ruben presented his work to the band. Can you tell me about the pieces that you're going to play? Yeah, they're all inspired by um, George Orwell's 1984. I love the book and I love the, the themes in it, that sort of dystopian quality I, I really like sort of a permission to play quite sort of angry music and sort of frustrated music, but also have contrast within that as well. Before I even entered, I thought to myself, if I do get through to the final, just if, then I do all my own composed tunes, because I think that's probably the, the best way for me to show my voice as a musician and writer and player. I think it was just the best thing for me to do.
Now, Ruben Goldmark, the first of two pianists in this year's jazz final. Now, Zoe, he is just 18. And he's got a sense of humour as well. On the chart here, it says, for Rim 101, it says, uncomfortably fast swing. <laughs> <laughs> so he likes to put the band through their paces. Now, Monty, Ruben has just done a set of all originals, his own suite. How impressed were you? This young man is from another planet. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. When I hear music, I, I go with the feeling I get. Yes. And the technique is also important and all this and all that. But Ruben really took me on a journey to outer space. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, Yolanda, you'd better watch out. There's a new saxophonist on the block. He's 22 and from Birmingham, it's Zosa Cole. I consider myself a freelance, part-time, apprentice, student, music student, whatever. I kind of play gigs in the evenings, practice a lot during the daytimes and just try and get as much music into my life as possible. Teaching, playing, learning, everything. I'm currently a member of and have been a member of the Midland Youth Jazz Orchestra for quite a while now, I think about six years. I've been studying with John Ruddick, playing big band music, reading. It's where I've learnt basically how to read music. I think the beauty in music in general, and specifically jazz music, the music we're playing, is the lineage and the journey that everyone's on. We're all part of a bigger system of 
the elitist players who have been in the past and present and will come in the future. And we're all just striving to achieve greatness. This is where I come to practice, it's my lock up and I come here every day pretty much and just practice in a room on my own with my records. A big part for me of the music is, I feel like it's a connection to my ancestors. It's the music of black history, it's black music and it speaks to my spirit. Me transcribing a Sonny Rollins solo, I'm getting the blues from these people and just trying to connect with what that means for me as a young black person growing up in Birmingham in 2018. Welcome. Come and join us. Out of all of the finalists, you're the only frontline musician and the only quartet in the competition. Yeah. How does that feel for you? I feel quite privileged, really, because I'm the only one in the competition who's going to play with the full band. It's going to be pretty immense, to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah. I've always enjoyed playing quartet with people. I love having the piano as an accompanying instrument, and it can really can bounce ideas off of each other. What are you hoping that the judges see from your performance? From me, I hope to give them a genuine um, perspective from Birmingham, from Handsworth, from the ends. I want them to see the music that can be created out of inner city, not just inner city Birmingham, but inner city in general in the UK.
Thank you. 
Wow. Now, 22-year-old Zosa Cole. Ian. Wow. Nerves of steel to take on that song, that well, tune by the giant yeah, that is John yeah. Coltrane. What did you it's make of this performance? It's Trial by Fire, that song. It's Trial by Fire. Oh, um, by fire. I, I loved the middle song. I thought it was so um, old school, but mm. so mature and huffy and fluffy and sort of romantic. It was lovely. And Zara, he's the only one of tonight's finalists that gets to play with the full band. So um, how did he do? He did pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> Leading the band through his dynamics. Um, he's got a very soulful sound, he's got a beautiful tone, mm. and he's got a lot of, it's kind of like a cool style and presence to him on stage, which is very endearing. Fantastic. Well, thank you both. We can't wait to hear some more. But over to you, Josie. Just two more to perform in this final. If you want to know more about the competition, head over to our website, bbc.co.uk slash youngmusician. And it's also worth checking out our BBC Young Musician podcast, hosted by saxophonist and former BBC Young Musician finalist, Jess Gillam. The latest episode is on improvisation and features 2016 jazz winner Alexandra Ridout. You'll find it on the BBC Sounds app. Just search for BBC Young Musician and subscribe. Definitely worth a listen. Now, back to this year's final and our second bassist. From London, it's 20-year-old Seth Tackerberry. Seth is a student at the Royal Academy of Music in London. I'm in the second year at the Royal Academy, but I guess it's really my sixth because I've, I, I did four years at the Junior Academy as well. One of the things about being here is the, the professional musicians that they bring in. And these are people who are like established musicians and we get to see how they approach um, not just their music but, but kind of music in general. They can give us really honest advice and I think it's really valuable actually. One of the people Seth gets to work with is a British jazz musician, Kit Downs. He's got quite broad tastes. He likes a lot of stuff, maybe more on the commercial end of things as well as more sort of modern jazz kind of stuff, but I think it's interesting in both. I just uh, hope he keeps like a really open mind and being curious and enthusiastic and writing his own music. I hope he keeps doing that as well. A former student at the Purcell School of Music, Seth returned last month to record an album with The Delegates, a band formed during his time there. I love recording and it was really amazing to just go in for five days and trying to play something simple but play it quite well. I really enjoyed the process of like working really hard on one thing, not worrying about anything else, and just doing this one thing and being very pernickety with all the fine details. Maybe like the tiniest bit sharp. Which you can't really do on a, on a gig, especially not a jazz gig. Hiya. Hi, Seth. Hi. How are you doing? You've been rehearsing with Gwilym and the band. Yep. How has that been? Oh, amazing. I knew it was going to be good, but, but this was like, that is really good. <laughs> Seth plays double bass and bass guitar. In this final, he's decided to focus on the bass guitar. The electric bass is really is my baby. It's kind of like, that's, what, that's my first love. I, I just feel more comfortable, more home on the electric bass. So I thought that's more me, I guess. Are you hoping that the judges will take from your performance? I'd like to have fun um, Good. and hopefully make everyone else have fun as well. <laughs> and there's, there's not much more I can ask for apart from that, really.
musician with some groove that's what I love and the connection he had with the musicians on stage was beautiful now Seth Takabri the second of two bass players in this final electric bass in this instant Gary what did you make of his performance fantastic uh, a young virtuoso solid time great sound fantastic use of his left hand um, literally faultless really now Ian we've just seen Seth out front is he the kind of bass player that you would want to play with? He's a show stealer, isn't he? So maybe not. It's amazing. Well, no, maybe not, actually, yeah. <laughs> On second thoughts, yeah. No, no, I mean, it's very impressive. He just looks like totally happy, totally at one with everything. Amazing. Brilliant. Well, thank you for yeah. those comments. Yeah. Back to the stage. Brilliant stuff, Seth. Now, last to perform in this BBC Young Jazz Musician final on piano. He's 21. It's Fergus McCready. Fergus comes from Dollar in Clackmannanshire and moved to Glasgow to study jazz piano at the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland, graduating last June. Well, since I finished university, I have mostly just playing piano, to be honest. A lot of my time has been taken up with my own project, which is a piano trio, and that's like in the jazz tradition, but it's also as much as possible in the Scottish tradition, music tradition because in Glasgow, uh, that's something that's very strong here and that's something that I you know, like probably as much as jazz. 
As part of that Glasgow scene, Fergus plays a monthly residency with the band Strata. With the Glasgow scene, it's a bit smaller than the London scene, for sure. But I think it really punches above its weight in terms of how good the musicians are. I think um, Scottish jazz is a force that should be more reckoned with. Fergus is the most versatile musician I think I've ever played with. He plays in so many of the other bands in the upcoming Scottish scene, but he doesn't sound the same in those bands. He adopts what each composer in that band wants to hear, but he does it with such musicality that it's amazing to see. I think like playing music is one of the most fun things you can do. I mean. You know, it's kind of like letting go for me. I, I kind of like, I'm a bit introverted as a person. So when I get to be on the bandstand, you can just sort of do whatever you want. It's kind of like, you know, anything's at your fingertips. It's that freedom that I really, really, really like. What was it like working with Paula and SF as a trio? Oh, great, yeah, such great musicians. And super easy to get on with as well. I always really like it when I meet people who you kind of connect with personally, quickly kind of thing. They're quite different people that I've played with before, actually. And I think, I think by Saturday we'll be quite tight as a unit. So. You're going on tour. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> the guys in my band are fired, that's it.
our last performer in this BBC Young Jazz Musician final, Fergus McCready. Zoe, how did he fare? You know, it was a really warm performance and I really felt that I knew him as a character by the end. He's very centred and he has an amazing facility but he's not in a hurry to show you his technique which is a really hard thing to do as a young jazz musician, you know. And Monty, what impression did Fergus make on you? I, s I heard a, a very humble spirit, you know, and that is one of those ingredients with this music that, that goes to that other level. And he just quietly got into his zone, you know, and I applaud him mightily. <laughs> Thank you so much, and thank you all judges. It's been amazing to hear your comments throughout the night. It's been really great, so thank you very, very much. Now, whilst the judges head off to make their decision and how you're going to do it, I don't know, we have a very special treat for you. Two years ago, 16-year-old trumpet and flugelhorn player Alexandra Ridout triumphed in this competition to become the second BBC Young Jazz Musician. Since then, she's been juggling her studies with a busy diary of gigs across the country. Alexandra Ridout. Young Musician 2016, it was a really amazing experience and um, I have a lot of fond memories of it. I had a really good time. <music> Getting to play with Gwilym Simcock was really amazing. He's just unbelievable, so that, that was really like the most amazing part of the whole experience. The winner of the BBC Young Musician 2016 Jazz Award is... Alexandra Ridout. When they said my name, yeah, it was weird, but it was cool. <laughs> it's hard to explain how it feels because it's obviously a lot of things all at once and a lot of adrenaline, but it was, it was really nice and it was nice to be around my family and friends as well. Since her triumph in 2016, Alexandra's been studying at the Royal Academy of Music in London. It's been pretty full on in a really good way. Um, I've definitely got way more opportunities, like performing opportunities and gigs and a lot more publicity, which is really, really important as a musician, so I feel really, really privileged to have that. Recently, I was a part of the BBC Young Musician Prom and basically got to hang out with <laughs> all the other people that have been doing BBC, so some really, really famous people, really and it was just such a great experience and really good to be involved with something like that and to play at the Albert Hall, which was the first time I've ever done that, so it was really, really amazing.
so great to see Alexandra perform. Lots more to come from her, I am sure. Now it's almost time to find out who will be awarded the title BBC Young Jazz Musician 2018. But before that, here's a quick reminder of all of tonight's finalists. Bassist James Austin. Pianist Ruben Goldmark. Saxophonist Zosa Cole. Bassist Seth Tackerbury. Pianist Fergus McCready. To make the announcement, Zara McFarlane. It is a pleasure to be here this evening to watch such a high quality gig of such exceptional young jazz musicians. We've been moved, inspired, and impressed by each and every one of the performers here tonight. It has honestly been the hardest competition to date. The winner of the BBC Young Jazz Musician 2018 is Zosa Cole. <laughs> thought I'd feel this feeling. <laughs> it feels amazing. Thank you for all the support from everyone in the room. It's been a real celebration today, I think, um, of jazz music in this country. Well, thank you so much. It's been amazing. Uh, wow. You were superb. Thank you again for a superb performance. So to call everybody. And let's give it up to all of our brilliant finalists. Brilliant night. Congratulations again to Zosa Cole, BBC Young Jazz Musician 2018. And this brings us to the end of this year's final here at the EFG London Jazz Festival 2018, an event supported by the Associated Board for the Royal Schools of Music. And what a night it has been. I hope, like me, you've all been inspired. And if you have been, there's always next time. For tonight, though, from us both, Good night. Good night. Thank you. <laughs>